The Chennai floods earlier this month threw up a couple of harsh realities, glaring lapses in information dissemination with respect to weather forecasting and inconsistencies in weather prediction itself. But this could change if IIT Madras has its way. CNBC TV 18's Jude Sanit has more. Professor C. Balaji from IIT's Mechanical Engineering Department is confident he has a game changer on his hands. A completely new approach to weather forecasting. And it stems from this block of hardware. Called Virgo, this IBM developed supercomputer commissioned by IIT Madras is today the fastest computer in any Indian academic institution. And one of its missions is to collect satellite data that will enhance the accuracy of weather predictions. What Virgo does is quite simple. The supercomputer enables researchers right here at IIT Madras to study data from previous cyclones and monsoons. This data is then coupled with real-time satellite output to enhance the quality of weather forecasting. The current system works on a traditional numeric method with sensors being launched on weather balloons to study weather patterns. Throw a satellite into the mix and there's better accuracy, meaning one extra dimension to weather forecasting. If we can get some measurements from these satellites, which are closer to truth, okay, can we inject some of this information, which is related to the atmospheric thermodynamics or atmospheric radiation, into this numerical model and correct the model, we should be in a better position to forecast this cyclone. Now imagine numerous satellites feeding data back for analysis simultaneously. It's this combined data streams that Virgo makes sense of, giving forecasters the ability to more accurately predict the place and time of a storm within a few hours. The state of the art is how many hours of computational time are required to predict an event for the 72 hours. In the case of the Virgo, I can, we can predict a cyclone for the next 72 hours by 4 to 6 hours of simulation. IIT's methodology will now be put to the test as part of the Ministry of Earth Sciences National Monsoon Mission. The aim for now is to better predict the onset of monsoons and, when necessary, give people enough lead time to prepare for disasters like floods and cyclones. In Chennai, Jude Sanat.